You see guys, this is why we can't have nice things. We've been pumped and we've been dumped. I lost more than half my money on this safe moon coin. So let's talk about it now. Welcome to another video, my friends. My name is Bijan, and if you're new here, please be so kind to subscribe, drop a like so we can hopefully recover from this emotional roller coaster, financial roller coaster that we've been on with all these cryptos and everything going on lately. And remember, every like counts towards changing the world. Favorite parts of this house is the house's ability to change the world. So in this video, we're gonna discuss how I lost more than half of my money on this safe moon coin. I'm down about 70% at the current time of making this video, and it's okay, don't worry, no need to panic. We're gonna talk about why I even bought it in the first place, why it even dropped, how it's gonna affect me, how it should affect you moving forward, and a few other spicy ideas, like did we all just get scammed and pump and dumped? Is it gonna go back up and things like that. So remember to stick it out until the end and don't forget to drop a like, you know, for the charity and for changing the world, of course. So I got into SafeMoon. I put about $1,000 in, which is worth about $300 now at this point. Man, it really hits differently when you say it out loud, huh? And now the first question is, why did I even get into it? Everyone was asking me on Instagram, like, hey man, what do you think about this SafeMoon, this doggy coin? So, I don't know, I'm, I'm new here. I decided to, I'm following your guys' lead. Yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't know. So I gave in and I said, all right, I'll get some of the safe moon. Obviously I'm looking at the chart of it and I'm thinking to myself like, I don't know, man, the way, the way my bank account's set up is telling me to stay away. But you know, I got to give in to the hype a little bit. Everyone else is doing it. So I wanted to kind of be part of the fun. And what, what's the saying that they say? I would rather take the 1% risk and be in it than the 1% risk and be out of it. And so I wanted to be involved. I felt a little left out, can you blame me? So I put $1,000 in myself. Now what I want you guys to do is look at the percentage and the ratio here. I put in $1,000, that's not even 1% of my total like net worth. Now I'm not saying this for people to be like, oh here he goes, he's bragging, or to try and do the calculation of, oh wow, $1,000 is less than 1%, so if I do the math, he has this much money. No, that's not the point of this. The point is so you can relate it back to yourself. I'm just saying look at the risk level. If you're risking more than 10% of your net worth, then you shouldn't be putting your livelihood on the line like that. If you, you put $1,000 in as well, but you only have $10,000 in total to your name or your life savings, that's probably where the problem is gonna start. For me, I put $1,000 in, if it's dropping to me and it goes to zero, I don't have a problem with it because it's not that big of an issue. And on top of that, I went into it knowing that it was gonna be like a lottery ticket. It's just gonna be a, a gamble, if you will. It could work out, it couldn't work out. If you make $3,000 a month, you can't afford to live in a house that costs $2,800 to rent. I know you have the money and you can afford to do it, but how are you gonna pay for all your other bills? How are you gonna pay for gas? How are you gonna pay for food? That's the problem is sure you got the money to do it, but can you afford to? Same scenario here is yeah, you got the money to put in, but can you afford to lose it? That's the problem. I want you guys to be really aware of risk. Anytime I get into anything, the first thing I look at is risk. Then I look at reward. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's a lot of people on YouTube right now that are, I'm not trying to say they're doing anything wrong, but they're hyping it up a lot. And I'm not saying they're pumping it or dumping it or anything like that. I'm just trying to say that they're talking about a lot of big boy numbers and it might make some people feel left out. It might make people feel like they need to catch up or keep up. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing or what the guys on YouTube are doing. If you plan to be in it, First of all, I don't suggest for anyone to be in it, but if you're gonna be in it, only be in it with a small amount that you're willing to risk, oh, less than 1% of your net worth. Don't look at what everyone else is doing. So I got in it with less than 1% of my net worth. Why? Because I would rather take the 1% risk and be in it than the 1% risk and be out of it. So I got in it with less than 1% of my net worth, I put $1,000 in and I'm perfectly fine and okay with it if it goes to zero. So now let's talk about where I got in it, where it's been, where I think it's gonna go, and all of that kind of stuff. So for that, we're gonna hop over to some chart here. I'll probably put it on my phone and the computer. So I put $1,000 in and now it's worth $315. But if you look at it on a one-year chart here, it's not as low as it's been. In fact, it even has like a little bit of a middle finger looking thing right there, if you see there in the middle by that zero. Well, if you look at the last seven days, obviously you can see this is like the whole entire dump right here where everything died. But if we go a little bit further out, you look at it, see, this is one thing that I always tell people is you have to look at the bigger picture. Look at the whole roadmap. Don't just look at one time frame here. If you look at the one month, then the three month, it doesn't look as bad. Even six months, I mean, we've been here before. 
not too long ago. Now here's what I really want to point out to you guys. Notice even back here, let's actually put it to one year. Now we're going back here. Notice this, it went all the way up here to the point zeros, a bunch of zeros basically, and then a nine. And then it dropped all the way down to a bunch of zeros and then a three. Now I'm not saying it's going to go back to a bunch of zeros and a nine. Hey, it could even go to more. I don't know. All I'm saying here, guys, is just look at the bigger picture. It's done it before, so there might not be any reason to panic. We actually went higher than the previous one. We went to a bunch of zeros and a 12. So we bring it back down, come back to that little three. I myself, honestly, I might even add in another 500 or $1,000 maximum and then leave it at that. And if it goes up, it goes up. Now, the thing is, you got to ask yourselves, how high did I really think it was going to go? I didn't think it was going to go to a dollar, obviously, because if it went to a dollar, then that means this safe moon coin is worth more than, my goodness, what's a good example that can even, I mean, it's worth more than the stock market times 10. It's worth more than 10 stock markets, just this coin. So obviously it's not, I mean, I don't know, guys, I don't want to be the naysayer. I don't want to be the, the guy that's putting everything down, but I don't think it's going to a dollar. I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. And if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And if it don't make sense, it probably won't make dollars. Maybe. Anyways, guys, my point is, I didn't think it was going to go to a dollar. But what did I think out of it? I thought maybe it would double. Maybe I'll double my money. A thousand will turn into two. I thought, I mean, if we really started to wild out maybe 10 times, a thousand will turn into 10. Well, that's really where I would have drawn the line. That's it. That's all I would have expected out of it. And you really can't get greedy with it. Maybe you could leave some on the line just in case. But anyway, I'm just talking and rambling at this point about what I would have done. I'm going to add in maybe another $500 or $1,000 after I do a little bit more analysis here and see how I'm feeling about it. But either way, I'm leaving the money that I have in there already. If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. And that's what I'm expecting it to do. If it doesn't go to zero, then hey, more power to you, more power to me, more power to everybody that's involved. And just remember, guys, if you want this stuff to go up, you have to drop the like. Put the, press the like button because it's it's very deeply correlated. The more times you press the like button, but make sure it ends on blue. Don't just press it once actually guys. Just listen guys, press the like button please and subscribe. Now someone might ask, why did it drop? Was it a pump and dump or was it related to something else? It could have been all of it. But one thing to consider is that these coins and these crypto type of things kind of act like the stock market, the way that the stock market acts in terms of sectors. So let me give you guys a really vague, broad example here and you'll understand better. Imagine ExxonMobil, it's an oil company. Imagine they have certain practices and all of a sudden they got fined like $10 billion for their practices. And let's say their stock is gonna go down because of it. Let's just pretend that the stock did go down because of it. CVX, Chevron hasn't done anything wrong or maybe they might not have been you know, caught yet, but they're not even involved. But their stock is also more, most likely gonna go down as well as like a sector type of a sympathy type scenario. All, if all the oil stocks are going down, usually, you know, if the oil sector is going down, all the oil stocks are going to go down with it, even if one doesn't have a reason to go down. So the same thing kind of applies here. Part of this trigger for SafeMoon selling off is because of the Bitcoin sell-off. And I can talk way more about the Bitcoin stuff and all that if you guys care to hear about my perspective about that. I'm usually a stock trader, so I'm not sure if people care to hear about that. But if you do, let me know in the comments. But that was triggered by a few things. Elon Musk sent out a tweet, and I'm not saying he triggered it, but I'm just saying I'm trying to build the cake for you here. We got Elon Musk doing his tweet, and then we got China talking about putting their little, uh, you know, what do you call it, restrictions, all this, all that, banning this and banning that. You got a lot of hype towards the downside, so it triggered, imagine we're already in a volatile market as it is, it triggered a little bit of a fearful sell-off, if you will. Now, one thing that I wanna kinda make known is that I'm not saying it's gonna go back up, I'm not gonna say it's go back down, we'll talk about that in a different video, but what I will say is, there's been other billionaires before that have said, oh no, I don't like Bitcoin, it's not gonna be you know, worth anything, but look at where it is today. I'm not trying to put Elon Musk down, I love the guy, we'll talk more about that in another video, I mean shoot, maybe he even wanted to drop it so he can get in himself. I'm kidding, I'm, that's like conspiracy theorists coming out now, so. I just wanted to give a little bit of background on, you know, what's been going on, why it got triggered, some of the news things and the, the social things, I guess, if you will, not just political, that might have triggered this. It could have also very well have been a pump and, pump and dump, though, guys. Don't get me wrong here. I see these kind of coins just like penny stocks that got pumped and dumped back in the day, and I'm going to treat them as such. Bitcoin and things like that are a little bit different, so if you guys want my opinion on that, let me know. I don't want to ramble about that too much in this video and make it too long. Anyways, we'll wrap it up on this note, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your feedback with some comments. Drop a like, please. Remember, 
the coin isn't going to go up anymore unless you guys drop a bunch of likes. So the more likes we have, the more chances we have of all these coins going back up. So please subscribe, drop the like, drop some comments, let me know what you guys thought, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, a great night, just have a great rest of your life.